This is episode three of Bachelorette Weekend. We had an interesting IV experience, a bad blind date, and they went to a pretty awesome hockey game. We can't wait to talk to you right now. You're tuned in to After Buzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. <laughs> You can't see it. We're moving up. Yep. We're moving in. We're moving out. <laughs> this was a fun episode. Just I really just like the vibe of this episode great. because it was just all fun and games, no drama, mm-hmm. which we haven't seen, I think, in a little bit. United States of Batch. United States of Brittany. I know. The name was Batch, <laughs> but Brittany brought it. And we are so excited, After Buzzers, for y'all to be with us. Thank you again, episode three. We're super excited. I am your host, Sarah Serio. And to my left, we oh, have. Oh, hey. I'm Caroline Thayer. Ah, that's all you need. That's all you need. Two have us. brunettes in a sea of blondes this episode. Yeah, I think I counted there were three brunettes that were a part of the mm-hmm. Bachelorette weekend. Mm-hmm. God, where are you? Where are the brunettes at? It was like perfect though for like <laughs> what it what they were going for with the USA, like her whole vibe. It was like the definition of a bachelorette party. I, I know think, in the dictionary. <laughs> I think if that was my bachelorette weekend, I would have been very happy and very content. Except I mean, I guess we're gonna get into like our initial thoughts. Yeah, no, I we thought, can do it right now. What were your what were your thoughts right away? I, I thought it was great. I thought they went all out and this was definitely the weekend that I would have most liked Mm -hmm. out of all of the events. Um, But I must say, if I went home on the Saturday night (laughs) of my bachelorette party, I would call it a huge failure just because... You would? Yeah, because, first of all, she didn't just go home, like, at midnight or 11. Mm -hmm. She was in bed by 10, 20. And by bed, I mean the couch. Um... That's a little early, and all your friends are still out partying. That kind of made me sad. It did? Yes. To me, I feel like that was a success. Okay. In the sense of, I get how you think it was a failure, but I'm just like, wow, she partied so hard, she partied alone now. I know, but that's just not what you want on your bachelor I mean, weekend. True. You can be alone on your couch, drunk, passed out any weekend. On your bachelorette party weekend, you need to just be she had to stick it out. Like honestly, take one for the team girl. Mm-hmm. You had your twelve other girls with you yeah. and they were still at the club turning it. I don't know what that voice was. I loved it though. So what did you think of United States of Brittany? Brittany who is our bride this time around Mm -hmm. she had 12 right yeah 12 she had 12 guests but she has seven um bridesmaids and a maid of honor yeah so I was like who are these four extra girls I don't understand that and I've Mm -hmm. always wanted to ask somebody who was on a bachelorette party how they determine like how the bride determines that they want to invite extras like more people that aren't actually a part of the wedding party Mm -hmm. because I feel like I would be so uncomfortable knowing that I was just like a plus one but not important enough to be in the wedding party well like to me I feel like I get that I've known people to have done that yeah but I feel like you know if you were to just make like your sister in your party and the guy was like to make whoever if Uh you just have that one person it's like that's really no fun yeah so if you just want to invite like your friends but like would eight girls not suffice why no that's that's a little much so I understand where you're a little confused and I am too I mean like, did you need the four extra blondes? She, Sorry, that sounds really shady. <laughs> um, but it, I didn't understand the point of it. But that being said, I want a huge wedding party. So I want a lot of girls on sure. my bachelorette party. I want us all to wear, like, she had coordinated plaid shirts. I want the coordinated bathing suits. Yeah, we'll talk about that. That was a little too much for me. Not yeah, no, I, I did not like the color scheme of the plaid. That was really what was bothering did me. Did you like the theme in general of what Brittany wanted? The red, I liked and blue it for and everything. Her, I liked it for her because she clearly was passionate about the United States. Um, Did you think right away, <laughs> based off of like what the team was saying about her, that it was going to be a hard one for them to get like a good review on? I think that 
I don't know. I feel like when Britney was doing her little intro, she was saying, you know, I'm a princess. And then also, you know, my fiance says, I, it's my world and he's just living in it, which doesn't bode well for the marriage because it should be their world. Mm -hmm. But I thought that she, I didn't think she was a diva at all. Mm -hmm. I thought she was really low maintenance and took everything in stride. If if I had um, somebody throw up on me at a bar like she did, I would lose my mind. You would. <laughs> Future bridezilla, maybe. I don't know. You, you can decide. Um, you haven't had beer on, like... Okay, so I, like, on you for example, before? at a frat party in college, a little beer would get on me and I'd be so angry. And then I'd be like, okay, Caroline, like, chill. You're at, in an environment where everyone is sloppy. But I think I, I was just so used to being not sloppy that it, I don't know, I would just get super overwhelmed. But think about it. On your bachelorette weekend, she not only had beer on her, but somebody puked on her. And that is my <laughs> worst That's where Caroline nightmare. draws that is, the line. I, that happens. I would, I would probably cause a scene. I'm so sorry to admit that. But then also she had a bachelorette, um, like one of the batches was down the next morning during the IV. Like one of them threw up mm -hmm. in the middle of the floor. Mm -hmm. I would be like, girl. You are stealing the, like, energy, the positive vibes in here. <laughs> you are taking it all. She just didn't feel well. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. That would I've ruin my vibe. I've always wanted to do those IVs, and that's, like, <gasps> a huge thing that a lot of people are doing at their bachelorette parties. They're bringing it in for their party because they know that, like, they're going to drink a lot. So the next day they come, mm -mm. they get all the minerals and everything that they need. No. This one clearly failed, but... I have a friend who did it, and she said it was a huge success. A lot of celebrities do it. Oh, yeah. Celebrities do it when they're like, I'm sick. <laughs> I can't go out. Sorry, that was a reference to Mean Girls, if nobody got that. <laughs> Sad. Um, but I do not do needles well, and IVs. So this, this was will be at yours. not for me. No. Yeah, that was not for me at all. So... <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like the team in general did a good job this time around, or do you think some were slacking? No, I actually thought that this episode showed everyone doing a lot more, mm -hmm. um, and I think it was important that Robbie called out, especially, I think he said Liz and JJ, I want you to kind of give mm -hmm. Nicole a run for her money since she had won the prize or the bonus for the last two weeks. Yeah. Um, and I think that they definitely stepped up. Even Rosa with the dog, I thought that that was a really smart move. I mean, I feel like we don't see as much of the, in the show, at least, of Rosa and Rachel and sometimes not even JJ. I feel like we always are seeing Nicole and yeah. Liz. I think we got a little more of Rachel and Rosa this episode, which is Yeah, great. I agree. Yeah. You know I love Rosa. I said that last week, Oh, my week God, too. her facial expression when the um, when the, the maid of honor uh, showed up early. Let's talk about that. I was dead because Rosa, I think her name was like, what was Desiree. it, Desiree? She's like, Desiree, uh, who invited you? Like, you were here an hour early. You were infringing on our happy place right now because we need to be yeah. kind of like finishing the work and now all of a sudden you have 80 other things for us to do mm -hmm. so I'm a big fan of Rosa as well because they had to turn on like what they didn't want to turn on until like an hour later yeah. they were like hey can you leave why did she why would she bring things and not just ask them to do it for her isn't she that why they are hired? She probably just thought she was being helpful. Desiree? Yeah, because she was like, oh, if I bring some stuff, then that, you know, um, will lessen the burden for, mm -hmm. for the batch team. I don't know. You'd have to know. ask her. I mean, I thought the decorations <laughs> yeah. looked great this time. I thought they really stepped up their game. Yeah. I think Well, I think Robbie was going to have a tantrum if the decorations were not fantastic no what speaking of Robbie <laughs> what did you think of when Robbie and JJ went to have a little guy time so they could talk it out because they were friends beforehand which is great you know 
I still don't know the. You answer that question and then I'll continue. No, no, no. I want to hear what you have to say. I just still don't know how they, the company, they can build a company around all these friendships. And, mm-hmm. you know, p- power to you for, like, still sticking it out and it mm-hmm. doing really well. But it just seems like it can kind of get in the way or there's there has to be a line or, like, a boundary. And I just don't really know if I've seen that boundary yet. Yeah, so I thought when the girls were pulling the prank on Robbie, that was super unprofessional because he's – regardless if it's a fun atmosphere I just don't think I would have the guts to pull a prank on my boss like that especially when he's the CEO of the company Mm -hmm. um so Robbie and JJ's lunch was a little bit awkward to me because even though they're friends there's a difference between confiding in just your friend just your co-worker but it's confiding in like one person who has mm-hmm. both those roles. And so JJ probably didn't know how to react as a friend or as a coworker or like as one of his employees mm-hmm. when Robbie was like, oh, hey, we're $40,000 in debt, which yeah. was so, he had mentioned it, but that's a lot of dough. Yeah, so that, that was, was sh- disconcerting. Mm-hmm. No, that was super shocking when he said that. And I feel like you're right. He probably needed a friend to talk to. Absolutely. But I feel like he has other friends. Because right. it's like you shouldn't talk to Donald worry in the episode. Later. Worry your workers about something of that magnitude just yet without you like putting together a plan and just like everything that needs to happen or like how it happened so it doesn't happen again. Yeah, because even JJ said, you know, we all have equity in this mm-hmm. in this company. So a loss for anyone is a loss for all of us. Yeah. Um, and I mean, if I got that news over a casual lunch with a friend, all of a sudden I'd be like, um, am I okay? Like financially, am I about to dive into a hole? Like I don't understand. So that was my, those were my thoughts on the Robbie and JJ lunch. I love it. Well, before we get into the rest of the weekend and on the crazy blind date that happened, we have a little special message for you guys out there. Oh, yay. Hey, After Buzzers, our network produces after shows for nearly all your favorite TV shows. From drama, reality TV, sci-fi, and more, there is no network that works harder to serve television fans but we need your help. We're asking that you please subscribe to one or more of our YouTube channels. By subscribing to our channel, YouTube will suggest content that's tailor-made for you and you'll help After Buzz continue to grow. And if you're worried about pesky notifications, don't be because they are optional. So hit that subscribe button now for this channel and check out our other After Buzz YouTube channels as well. Let us know you did so in the comments and we'll thank you on air. For now, thanks for being the best fans in the world and for helping us be the ESPN of TV talk. Yes, thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Comment, like, subscribe. We love hearing from you. Yeah, and also we'll talk, we'll plug our social media later, but seriously tweet at us or what DM us, whatever. You can slide into our DMs. You can also listen to us on um, podcasts. podcasts. When yeah. you're stuck in traffic, it's the best thing to do. I think I said that last week. No, because I <laughs> think you should keep saying that because I had not even thought about that. We are on a podcast. You can hear our voices any time of the day, anywhere. And you know the music gets a little old when you're driving, so just why not listen pop to a podcast? On Sarah and Caroline podcast yeah <laughs> I don't know I was trying to rephrase you know what we're gonna it's okay we'll hop into the date the blind oh okay date. yeah awesome amazing we're, <laughs> we're transitioning we'll hop into the blind date with Nicole and Donald Donald right yeah Donald. yeah what a name you don't hear that often yeah we have a president named Donald oh <laughs> see I didn't even <laughs> well you know hey What did you think of the date? Do you think it was a success? Do you think it was a bust? Do you think how it all came to fruition was like a little interesting? So we were talking about this. I thought the whole thing was shady. Um, It was like Robbie, and you used the word contradictory. I think Robbie, basically the way the prank was laid out was, oh, I'm going to get the girls back. But then he just decided to get Nicole back. And he said, I want to make Nicole uncomfortable, which I thought was a really distasteful thing to say. And then he was like, oh, 
let's find the most uncomfortable person my, me and my friends know. Um, who is that? Oh, Donald. Let's have a blind date. We're basically going to make the stakes so difficult for Nicole that not only would they be impossible, but they would be detrimental if they happened. So Nicole almost had no choice but to fail. Um, I was living for Liz at the bar with her sunglasses on, just listening. Um. I, I would love to know, and I'm asking the fans, how many of you would help a sister out and go and sit at the bar and like just lurk? And hear, try to hear what your friend and their date was um, would be discussing because I know I would. I would um, totally be the lurker. But I just love like she was so casual with her sunglasses and sipping on her drink. Um, I thought the date itself was awful. It looked like one person was talking. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I do agree though that I think he was nervous, and it's like it's being filmed, so that just adds. How many pressure. times did he have to say, I moved here 15 years ago? I mean, yes. I moved here 15 years sure. ago. Which, by the way, is their age gap, 15 years. I know. <laughs> and we were just like, oh, we didn't know Nicole was 24 years old. That was She just comes off a lot more mature, put together. Yeah. I was a little bit in shock. I thought she would say, like, 27. Yeah, Not off I think, looks or anything. I think, girl. <laughs> I think that... <laughs> A lot of them are pr- relatively young. I don't know. Yeah, no, I would I would completely agree. But I think the date was okay. I don't think it was a complete bust. Yeah, that's literally verbatim what she said. I don't, and I agree. I agree with you, girl. I didn't see anything on her social media, though, because I did creep, because I wanted to see, like, oh, is there anything possible? Did not. So probably means Donald and Nicole... I don't think there was a love forever. connection there. I don't I don't think that anyone was hoping there was a love connection. I mean, it might have been fun for Robbie to see what he had hoped to be a bust turn into like actually some beautiful love story, but I don't think that happened. So, stay tuned, Nicole, let us know if you are in fact with Donald. If yeah. you are, congrats. Love you. Love Donald. Amazing date. Let us know also if you think in the comments that there were sparks or there weren't. I'd love to know. Because people have so many different thoughts. So the IV was a bust. This date was a bust. But you know what wasn't? Was what? that hockey game. Oh, my gosh. I that love hockey. That was really cool of Robbie and the whole team to do for her. Like a suite at a hockey game. Um, They were cool. totally dripping in finesse. Um, yeah, I know. That was a... a no, I okay, liked it, so, but it's like... Oh, but Lord. they weren't. So it was <laughs> okay. like they thought that they were dripping uh-huh. in finesse, but I honestly screamed at the color scheme of that of those plaid shirts. I'm sorry. I already mentioned that, but I really was not into it. Um, they get to the Predators game, which, by the way, the Predators, if you didn't know, are one of the best NHL teams in um, the... NHL. One of the <laughs> best. <laughs> they actually won the president's... Um, trophy which is the team with the best overall um like record oh. with points Shout um out. so 2017-2018 predators Ooh. also made it to the second round of the stanley cup finals just thought you might want to know wow caroline love, giving us I love stats hockey. on stats. i love hockey but go bruins um anyways oh. sorry just like had to throw it in there um but the I predators was, game I is an awesome thing to get for your bachelorette party. I know. It's such a fun thing to do because you can go to dinner before, you can go to the game, and you can still go out. Like, it's a full day. Like, that's what I think of when I think of a bachelorette weekend. Like, we were like, remember last week, we were like, oh, like, what did they do on these days? And we were like, just this, this. And I thought... There was a, it was packed. It was I yeah. in the morning. They like literally had to gear up for the game. Mm-hmm. They probably left it, I don't know, like three, because the game I think was at four. Then they had their dinner. Um, and they also had food in the suite. She got her own little customized jersey, that which was, was super, super, yeah. super like a nice thought. Mm-hmm. Um, she had a lot of nice little thoughts, like the dog, the dog, the Frenchy dog at yeah. the IV. Um, the thing. picture at the end. However, I don't know why they were calling him a puppy because he looked like a full-grown Frenchie. I mean, I think a lot of people. <laughs> I think they people just. He was probably Frenchies maybe he was head. young, but let's get your terminology right. Oh, I'm so. calling. I'm calling him out. Sorry. Okay. The hockey game was great. From the hockey game, they went to a bar where the bride sadly was not feeling well. 
and had to dip out on all of her friends. Dip out. Yeah. Literally, I... I know what that, that was feels me, I would like, be, though. Yeah, for sure. Not cool. It <laughs> feels terrible, and of all the weekends to get it I know. on your bachelorette weekend, like, I don't want you to feel ill, and it wouldn't be fun if you felt ill, but I was really surprised she went home. I was surprised, too. And also, this just popped into my head, because it was, because as you were saying, you were like, yeah, she's the only one that went home, and then Liz helped her, sure. Was it Liz? Yeah, it was yeah, Liz. Yeah, Liz helped her, which was so sweet of her. But it's like not even one of her friends was like, oh, I'll go. <laughs> like, not one of them was like, oh, I'll come. Like, there's All 12, 25 of them. There's no, 12 other girls and not like two. I know. Could go back being like, you know what? Actually, I think I could call it a You know, not too. two from the IV that passed out yeah. and threw up. I don't know. I don't, just like a thought. Take care of yourself. Think of that. I thought the funniest part, though, was I think – one of the girls, it might have been the maid of honor, Desiree, said to the bride, Brittany, you know, I think drinking for four days straight is just what's causing you to feel ill. And the next morning, Sunday morning, you just see a girl struggling to pop open a champagne yeah. bottle. I'm like, girl, give it a rest. The weekend is over. Do mm-hmm. so you need that one last mimosa? But a- apparently she did. She did. That house was a hot mess on Sunday. It was, be- it was a beautiful house. That's what made totally. me sad. It seemed really um, spacious and definitely accommodating Mm -hmm. for all the girls, but dang, why do you have white bedspreads when you are bound to have a messy, like, food, drink situation, makeup? I don't get it. But I think they had a really great weekend. They had a nice send-off. Yeah, I thought, honestly, I thought it was a very, very successful weekend. Totally. And they... You know, it was a success. And then they went back to the office, Mm -hmm. and we hit the MVP, who, (laughs) it was so deserving, who Caroline and I both agree, it should have been Liz. It should have been Liz. You could just tell. Yeah. Liz was the MVP, guys. Woo-woo, shout out. She did a great job, and you can tell when people go above and beyond. And then... Would you, though? I just want to know. Would you nope, have nope, cleaned nope, up, nope, throw nope, up nope. for $500? I don't think I would have either. So, um, <laughs> I guess it depends on the situation. Like, if it was someone I was really close with and I was taking care of them. But the visual of, he- like, hearing her describe the throw up, I just didn't need that. Um, and I can't imagine her doing it. So, mm-hmm. I'm not sure I would do that. Maybe if it was a thousand dollars, I don't know. I would do a thousand. I was going to say that <laughs> if it so was double that price, yeah, Abby. double it, and I probably would have done it too. But you could tell that she went above and beyond, and yeah, I mean, taking the bride home and just being responsible for, mm-hmm. you know, the most important person that weekend, yeah, was really um, nice of her. Yeah, they and catered to her well. Yeah, they really did. I don't know, though, why JJ gets so, why he thinks he's so deserving. JJ, if you're listening, kind of want to know why you think you were as deserving. JJ actually tweeted at us and was like, (laughs) oh, dang, these girls are tough on me. And look, JJ, we're not not hating on you. We just want to know, like, what, give us bullet points on why you think you deserve to get the bonus. Like, hey, maybe if you set up a photo booth because your <gasps> thing's photography. That's a great idea. You did, like, a photo booth for them or made them a scrapbook for the end. Like, oh, that's you know? A, oh, that is a great idea. Or you could, like, switch up the cameras. Um, I'm super into Polaroids, mm-hmm. and I would love it if, you know, the inst- you can get the instant um, pictures if you bring a po- Polaroid. So maybe, I don't know, for the IV, mm-hmm. you could have had, like, Polaroid pics of the girls puking on the floor um, or whatever. Just like random snapshots that maybe don't require a very high-end digital camera. Um, We're just throwing those ideas out for you, JJ, just so you can get the $500 that you do deserve. So you're welcome. You're welcome. The weekend was a success. The MVP was a great choice. <laughs> so we're going to play our little Would You Rather. I'm going to ask Caroline this question. Oh, man. I always get so nervous. And I want to hear what you guys have to say, too, in the comments. So let me know. All right. So would you rather oh my goodness. have the wrong, since I couldn't really decide based off this episode, but it's wedding 
related. Okay. Would you rather have the wrong flowers delivered on your wedding day um. or have the orchestra or whatever you decide play the wrong song when you walk down the aisle? Okay, so first of all, that <laughs> I already Y'all have, answer too, I please. Already, I already have a caveat to this. Okay. What, <laughs> what orchestra doesn't know the Here Comes the Bride song? No, some people don't walk down to that song. My best friend walks down to like Blackbird singing in the dead of night. That, that well, song. that's nice, but I don't. I feel like I'm okay. So I'm saying if it's not that song, if you wanted a specific song, I mean, would it honestly, be wrong if, flowers? No, I can't have the wrong flowers. Oh, there we go. I cannot. That imagine getting like neon orange and pink, and your bridesmaid's dresses are like a deep purple. Mm. It just wouldn't look. Oh my God, that just gives me so much anxiety. We're giving anxiety. that, oh, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> but we want to hear from you guys, wrong flowers or well, wrong you? song. Um, you know, I think I could deal with the wrong song because I would. So just just to reiterate, that means she would also not like <laughs> not yeah, having the right flowers. I also wouldn't like having, I would need the right flowers. Okay. The wrong song because could, we could like rock to it. We could like dance if it I was always, something crazy. Like it could, we could... I Make always think of um, this scene in The Office when, d- did you ever watch The Office? Off and on. Okay, so like they dance down to Chris Brown's Forever, mm. like the the entire oh, wedding party. Uh-huh. And it's just like, yeah, that was unexpected. Um, but, you know, they enjoyed it and they rocked rocked it. Mm-hmm. Sorry, that's just like my little no. side. If any time I can talk about The Office, I always got to slide it in so there. That's our would you rather. Yay. If y'all have any suggestions for any other Would You Rathers, let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear it. Mm -hmm. We unfortunately don't have any news and gossip. We tried looking up some things on Instagram. The bride, unfortunately, her... This sounds so creepy. I we I stalked and her it's fine. We all do her it. profile's private, so we don't know if she's married yet or what's going on with her. She met her fiance five years ago. Uh, that was what she said in the episode. Mm-hmm. So here's hoping they're still together. I feel like they are. Oh, her bio did say his name with a ring next to it, but what I, do you mean his name? Like, did you she know have how her, like you can have your Instagram bio and it says like whatever you wanted to say? Okay, so it says like fu- does it say future? No, it says like Ted or whatever his name oh, is. Oh, Ted with a ring. With okay, a ring so I like, wonder if her last name has changed. I don't that know. I don't know if she's married yet. Couldn't find out. She's private. But I want to give a shout out to JJ and Rosa because they followed me on Instagram. Yes. So hey guys, thanks y'all hey. for watching. We really appreciate it. And the entire batch team has tweeted us. Yeah, uh, and it's so nice and. Yeah, just keep just keep doing you, keep and we'll keep doing us, and yeah. <laughs> I don't well, know where I was going with that. We'll do it together, together as a team. <laughs> so I think now we'll just get into predictions for next yeah. week. Yeah. Now, Again, this this creeps us out TV so much. This sound. Predictions. I think the light should go too, and it would just like add a little special. <laughs> anyway, the eerie next vibe. week seems. Drama, which I'm excited because I love drama. Who doesn't love drama? Your if thoughts. You say, any if you say you don't, oh, sorry, microphone. If you say you don't love drama, something is wrong with you, mm-hmm. and you probably are the instigator. Um, yeah. Shots fired. <laughs> the truth. The truth revealed with Caroline and Sarah. Um, Do you have so any thoughts? Based I off of think what you saw? it's funny that we had this episode because everything seemed really happy and positive. Mm-hmm. Nothing seems to go right next week, and I mean that might just be the preview. But JJ locking his. First of all, not only did you lock your camera, but more importantly, you locked your keys in your car, so you can't drive home. That's, that's really a bad. Caroline's concerned that, now. Like, I mean, that's that actually is my biggest fear. But he has all of his friends with him. But how, like, you are going to have to physically call someone to break into your car. Triple A. That's what they're for. It's, what if, what if JJ doesn't have triple A? I'm sure there's another okay, company. Okay, whatever, whatever, Sarah. I'm just thinking in the moment I would not be as stressed about my camera because I probably have an iPhone 10 or an iPhone 8 Plus, so I could take pictures on that. <laughs> Whereas my car, maybe something no else is in there. Like what if you had your favorite scarf was in your car? You couldn't get your scarf. I don't know. Uh, so that doesn't look good. It also looks like Nicole has some drama. I know. Um, 
no, just nobody looks like they're having a successful, productive, positive time next week yeah. on Nicole, Nicole weekend. Liz, JJ, Rosa, Rachel, Robbie. Let's name them all. <laughs> well, I hope they all don't. I hope a good one that ha- we haven't had time yet to see gets the MVP, gets their time to shine when I'm saying <laughs> Rosa. that. Rosa. <laughs> or even Rachel. I'll give her a little plug. And JJ. Those are the only three that and haven't gotten And JJ. Gotten but based off of what we saw, I don't think you'll be getting it. Unless that was a prank. Ooh. We don't know. That's a good idea. That's actually a really great prediction. It could be a prank. Yeah. Again, I, I'm not for pranks in the office. I think I'm just too, like, tightly wound. Mm-hmm. I would think, I just think it's inappropriate. But whatever. Maybe this is the environment to do it. A yeah. party planning. Party it up. Party planning business. Party <laughs> it up. Okay. All right. <laughs> but that's all we have to talk about today, guys. It was a great episode again. Thank you so, 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 so much for watching. I'm your host, Sarah Sierra. You can follow me on Instagram and Snap at Sierra for so much fun. Again, DM us all. We love to hear from you. And I'm Caroline Thayer. You can follow me at Caroline J Thayer. I actually just created a new Instagram, so I would like love the followers. Um, But yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We love talking to you. So keep it coming. Have a great week, guys. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.